Custom SKUs are so easy to use, even a kid can do it. Welcome to Matt's Profit Pursuit. I'm Matt. I'm a part-time reseller who sources at the Goodwill bins and sells on eBay. And I like to make what sold videos and break down the actual fees of each sale so you see exactly how much is made after fees, cost of goods, shipping, and taxes are taken out. I got 18 orders going out today. So now we're going to pull orders so I can talk about my SKU system. So in my garage, I keep um, hats and plush and clothes mainly, and also baseball bats and golf clubs. Other than that, I have a storage unit that I use bins for all my other items. We're gonna pull all the items I have here in my garage first, and then we'll run over to my storage unit. The first item is in P6. All the P's are for pants. Uh, that way, really I did it just for storage, that way, it's, it fits in there nice and neat. And in case I do miss skew something, I know to look through all these that are just pants. So P6, let's pull this one out and see if we can find it. It's a pair of Gymshark joggers. And I do not have any of these individually packaged up yet. I just simply have them in here and just look through until right here, until I find what I'm looking for. I paid $1.10 for these joggers and they sold for $19.49 plus shipping. The buyer is all in at $28.19 and after fees and shipping, I get $17.09. The next order is a lot of toys. Uh, these little, like there's one policeman and then four firemen, little like wooden old school figures. Since it's a newer listing, I actually have a pile here of listed items that I have not put in a bin yet. So it should be here in one of these bags of toys. Right here, these guys here. The brand of these toys is Odyssey. They're just little vintage wood rescue figures. I paid 55 cents for these guys and they sold for $21.99 plus shipping. The buyer is all in at $29.13. And after fees and shipping, I get $18.26. The next item is a golf club. So a lot of that is kind of personal collection. There are a few random boxes of cords that I keep to test electronics and things like that. But most everything else is death pile. That's all empty now, I went through that. But these boxes are pretty much all full of items. That is actually listed, I should probably put that somewhere else. But yeah, anyways, golf clubs, um, some tennis rackets that I was doing that for a minute. They don't ever sell. And baseball bats are over here and it is a ping. Three, that's a five. A ping three wood. I paid a dollar forty-five for this club and it sold for twenty dollars plus shipping. The buyer is all in at thirty-six dollars and eighty-seven cents. And after fees and shipping, I get fifteen dollars and forty-five cents. Next is an anime VHS, which is actually pretty new, so it's down here in this pile as well. Round. And it's probably in this pile of VHS. This one here. This is a Spirited Away VHS. I paid 80 cents for it and it sold for $14.49 plus shipping. The buyer is all in at $21.76. And after fees and shipping, I get $10.01. So it's kind of a mess in here. This is my, my just my garage and... I don't know about you guys, but after Christmas, all the packaging and boxes and stuff get thrown in here. The recycling just got dumped, so I gotta break all this stuff down. But I covered P for pants, and I've, I've standard, tried to standardize my boxes. Down here is H for hoodies, which is all sweatshirts, really. Um, and then I have, I have hats up here. These are, these are plush, oh, let's go. these are plush up here. B is for button-up shirts. And then around the corner here, I have a few more shelves. Uh, <clears throat> J is for jerseys. W is for women's items, like um, swimsuits, some leggings, things like that, bras. Uh, T is for t-shirts. And C is for coats. So I have S down there for shorts. This next item says it is an H6, so let's look. It's actually a like fleece-lined button-up work shirt. I may have put it with these because it's like a thicker type of shirt, not a regular button-up. But I know if it's not there, to so then look in the button-ups. 
All right, it was in there. It's this Wolverine fleece lined kind of denim work shirt. This is kind of a cool shirt. It's not just uh, fleece lined, it's actually reversible. I paid $2.85 for this and then sold for $20.99 plus shipping. The buyer is all in at $38.40. And after fees and shipping, I get $21.41. The next item is a poster that I got from Bandbox years ago. It was actually in the SKU. I have red, which means last chance. If it doesn't sell the next time I go to relist it, I'm donating it. And I just reorganized it and I had it up on this shelf here. So I gotta find that here in a minute. I have, I have a, a box with just some posters in it. So it's back here, you can kind of see the it mask. There's some posters in there. This was a poster, uh, like I said, from the BAM box. And it was like a celebrity boxing thing with Dr. Evil versus Austin Powers. Not really my style. It sold for $5.85 plus shipping. The buyer is all in at $12.90. And after fees and shipping, I get $5.12. Next is a Adriano Goldschmied shirt. The pants do okay, so I grabbed one of the shirts and it's not very good. It should be over here in T2. And it's just this plain uh, gray v-neck. I paid 45 cents for this shirt and it only sold for $7 plus shipping. The buyer is all in at $12.74. And after fees and shipping, I get $5.94. Next order is another newer listing. So it's down here in this pile of stuff I need to take care of and get organized. Electronics at the bins are only 79 cents a pound. So I will grab things like these phones. I think that, I, think, I believe it's this one here with this guy. So these five phones that go with this base here, and then these four little single pieces. This is a Panasonic something or other. I paid $2.55 for this set of phones and it sold for $24.99 plus shipping. The buyer is all in at $35.79. And after fees and shipping, I get $23.35. The next item is a Nike hoodie out of H3. Oh, it's right here on top. This one here is just a basic hoodie, nothing special. I paid $1.60 for this hoodie and it sold for $8 plus shipping. The buyer is all in at $22.31. And after fees and shipping, I get $10.24. Got another hoodie out of H3. Oh, no. oh. I guess I should put the phone down. So this is a Carhartt um, Rain Defender hoodie in like almost new condition. The only issue is that it has a company logo embroidered on the front. So it didn't sell for as much, but it still sold. I paid $3.50 for this hoodie and it sold for $20 plus shipping. The buyer is all in at $37.69. And after fees and shipping, I get $20.54. And if I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. Converse sell, high tops do better than low tops, and I don't even clean them. Just sell them as is, dingy and dirty. These ones, the bottoms are actually pretty good. I paid $2.30 for these shoes and they sold for $20 plus shipping. The buyer is all in at $29.82. And after fees and shipping, I get $15.87. The last item I need to pull, I can see it right now. It's a hat from the hat one bin. And it's this kind of trapper hat right here. This is a KB Ethos hat, but I bought it for the style more than the brand. I paid 50 cents for it and it sold for $10 plus shipping. The buyer is all in at $15.85. And after fees and shipping, I get $9.15. And that's it for the items here in the garage. Let's run to the storage unit real quick and grab the last few orders. But like I said, the SKU system is so easy, even a kid can do it. So I got a couple special helpers to help me out with the rest of the orders. All right, boys, we're gonna pull some orders today so I can ship them out on eBay. You wanna help me? Yeah. All right. Oh, there you are. <laughs> okay, the first order is in 5B. Can you find the bin that says 5B on it? I see it. 5B right here. 
Okay. Can you pull it out? It's kind of heavy. Yep, that one's 4B. Now open that up. It's a pair of boots. Those big boots right there. There you go. How much do you think those sold for? 20 These are men's Ariat Patriot 2 boots. I paid $6.55 for these, and they sold for $51.05 plus shipping. The buyer is all in at $72.98, and after fees and shipping, I get $46.43. Now, Benny, while you're there, look at, there's something else. Let Benny grab it. There's a hose in there. Can you grab that hose? Do you see the hose? Yep, that sold too. That's a hose for an old vacuum. How much do you think that sold for? I sold it over $1. <laughs> yes, I hope it sold for over $1. <laughs> this is a hose for an old rainbow vacuum. I paid $2.30 for it and it sold for $22 plus shipping. The buyer is all in at $39.48. And after fees and shipping, I get $20.26. Now the next bin is just G. Can you find one that just has a G? No number, just G. Keep looking. It's G3. Well, it's kind of by G3. Oh, yeah. There you go. All right, so it's a pair of headphones. Oops, turn the light off. They're like red and black headphones. How much do you think it sold for? Forty-five. I wish. These are HyperX Cloud uh, gaming headphones. Not real high dollar. I paid fifty-five cents for these, and they sold for fifteen dollars plus shipping. The buyer is all in at twenty-three dollars and forty-nine cents, and after fees and shipping, I get nine dollars and seventy-eight cents. How about G eight? It might be out here somewhere. You feel like mom would wear those? How much do you think those sold for? I wish. Thirty. It was pretty close on this one. These are UGG, uh, like riding boots. I paid $4.10 for these and they sold for $25 plus shipping. The buyer is all in at $38.49. And after fees and shipping, I get $22.40. Okay, Benny, you're up. 3B. Good job, buddy. How much do you think those sold for? $100,060. I wish you would buy them for that much. Where was it? It was like $13. Yeah. These are bog boots, and these sell pretty good, actually. Uh, I've had them for a while. I paid $3.35 and took an offer of $13 plus shipping. The buyer is all in at $27.90. And after fees and shipping, I get $12.72. Okay, G10. Oh, wait, it's here. Oh, you already saw it. Good job. Okay, so back before I even had a cell phone, we had to carry those around with CDs to listen to music. How much do you think that sold for? I don't know exactly. It's not super old. 2006. That was the year I graduated high school. So I was, I was Angelina's age when that was made. I was 18. How much? It was like $12. <laughs> this is a Philips CD player with headphones. I paid $0.43 cents for it and it sold for $12.99 plus shipping. 
the buyer is all in at $23.03 and after fees and shipping I get $7.55. Those are my two youngest, Jim and Benny, and I rewarded them with a little hot chocolate afterwards. They had a lot of fun doing it. At least that's what I told them. You're having fun. Do it. All right, now let's break down these orders. For those items, including what the buyers paid for shipping, I have a total of $515.29 in sales. I wish I could just put all that in my pocket, but you got to pay to play. eBay needs their cut, which honestly, I'd have zero sales if it wasn't for them. They're the ones who bring the audience, so I'm okay doing that. And most of the money goes to shipping. I got to ship this stuff out, I guess. So after fees and shipping, I have $291.57 minus the cost of goods, which was $34.93. And that gives me $256.64. I put 25% aside for taxes, which is $64.16. And that gives me $192.48. Invest 20% back into the business. So after putting money aside for taxes and investing back into the business, I have $154 even that I get to put in my pocket, which is 4.4 times my money that I had invested into these items. A true net after all the fees and everything are taken out. It's about four and a half, let's call it five hours worth of work. So that gives me a net hourly rate of $30.80 per hour. Thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. And remember, get your SKUs in order. Catch you on the next one. God bless. Peace.